been stuck at home for the past, I don't know how many, how many days. Meron pa kasi yung makilang bilhin. So, we're going to the mall today. And I thought, habang nasa mall tayo, I kind of missed this feeling of doing makeup na may pagka-effortless. In my head, when I was thinking about somehow going back to my roots and doing makeup na walang ka-effort-effort, I thought of my college days or, or the first days na nag-start akong mag-makeup or natutong mag-makeup. So, mamaya sa mall, iniisip ko pumunta sa department store and check up the products na una kong ginamit, kung nandun pa rin ba sila, kung may nagbago ba. We have reached the epitome of high school makeup. Hindi natin makakalimutan ng institusyon. Oh my God. Back in the day, itong area na to sa landmark where all the brushes are, para siyang playground sa akin kasi sobrang daming brushes. See, nandito pa rin yung mga lashes. Ito yung unang-una kong binala ng lashes ever. Yung mga Taiwan lashes na ganyan. Actually, ito yung mga singles yung mga pinagbibili ko before. For old time's sake, let's let's try one. <laughs> 69 pesos na siya. This is it. I'm excited! <laughs> this brings me back so much memories. We're gonna apply them on. And it's also a bit of story time kasi ang dami kong stories about these products. Let's start with the base with Fashion 21's Perfect Stick. Magkaiba lang siya ng packaging just because ito yata yung updated packaging. Wow! Creamy. Growing up, I was fortunate enough naman to have good brands. Meron ako mga hand-me-down products from my auntie na Make Forever, Chanel. I had extreme makeup products. Ito lang basically yung mga afford ko. Sa allowance ko, sa savings ko, ito yung mga kaya kong bilhin. To blend this out, may binila akong dalawang sponge. Ito yung beauty blender back in the day. Ito yung ginagamit sa pancake foundation. Yun yung powder na binabasa. I also got this from FNS, which is Features and Shades. So this is a different kind of sponge. I don't know, medyo naintriga lang ako. Hindi ko siya gagamitin today. Binili ko lang siya for like... I wanna experiment with something. I don't know. Ay. Yung sponge kasi na to, parang kukunin niya lahat. I feel like pang powder to. Kita niyo, kakaiba. Hindi niya, parang hindi niya nilalapat yung product. May dahilan kung bakit pang powder lang siya. So, gagamit tayo ng brush. The first time na ginamit ko tong foundation, I was blown away by the coverage. Well, before naman kasi nung bata ako, hindi naman kasi ako pinipimples noon. Siyempre, may mga liquid foundation na noon, but it was to pro, parang ganun yung, yung vibe ko noon nung bata ako. Yung mga liquid foundation noon na mura naman, yung coverage talaga, it's giving nothing. Okay, and speaking of nothing, eto meron naman siyang binibigay, no? In terms of coverage, I'd say it's more, um, kind of sheer and medium. It's like, it's gonna give you this nice pigment, yung talagang may kita mo, yung color nag-iiba, but... In terms of covering some blemishes, parang hindi siya nagsistick. Parang pag dinadaanan mo siya, wala, hindi siya kakapit doon sa certain dark spot. Oh my gosh! Look, look, nostalgic for me itong mga products na to, but my gosh, this foundation, it, it doesn't set. Sobrang streaky and... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I swear to God na kung ito yung kinip as base, hindi nakakapit the rest of the makeup. So, we had to redo that. Puso yung pag-set dati ng foundation with something like this, hindi loose powder. Best believe, this is going to be intense. Contouring wasn't a thing, obviously. Yung routine ko noon was very simple. Either just a powder foundation, just a light wash of powder foundation. Unlike now, grabe, ilang minutes yung ginugugol ko just perfecting my base. Kanina, habang tinitignan ko yung products, nag-reminis ako ganun, bigla ako nagkaroon ng full-on breakdown. So, inaayos ko lang yung product. Nakuha ko. Hindi ko lang gumawa ko. But I am just quite emotional, just remembering. Pero... Emotional lang ako remembering memories from these makeup products. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> these are tears of joy, I swear. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung bakit ang daming tears. Baka PMS to. Baka hormones na talaga. O oh, diba, hindi na kapag vet pa ako sa inyo. It's just that me thinking about those times. Meron akong, I had the best of both worlds. I had makeup for everybody around um, and, and stuff. And then meron akong Nietzsche, the fashion 21, every Belena. And just thinking about it. Nothing, like, hindi sila magkakaiba in my eyes and in my feelings kasi I just did makeup so happily. I enjoyed doing it. I didn't care about the price. I kind of cared about the quality. I mean, early on, that was, that was training for me. There are times, napagunda ako sa makeup, nagsawa ako. 
But yeah, it's just, just a good reminder that I should take it for granted. Because before, it was just a dream of mine to have this much collection. Anyway, let's go back. Nothing is more iconic than Nichido for me. Ito talaga mismo yung gamit kong brow product noon. Ito yung eyeliners. We have the brown shade and the black shade. Ay, black brown pala to. Okay, I didn't get like the black as the black. They had brown shades of eyeliner. I love that. So what I did before was simple. As in, syempre dati simple lang. As in, dodrawingan mo lang yung kilay mo. Oh, it still works. Para kang merong brow laminator and pencil in one. All right. That's not bad at all. I mean, of course, it could be better. But, pag apply mong ganyan, makikita mo agad yung color. I love that. I clearly remember having this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette. That was really good. I had it when I was in high school until college. Like, expire na siya for sure, but I kept it until may kumuha kasi nawala na lang siya sa akin. When I saw this, I thought, like, oh my gosh, dupe siya sa Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. I mean, packaging pa lang. Nung college, pwede kong iset yung kilay ko with the Mac Boy Girl because I had it then. Sobrang nakaka-bougie talaga yung Mac Boy Girl, di ba? But at the same time, tinipid ko yun ng sobra-sobra. So there's another way that I set my brows, and this is with a brown eyeshadow. Igaganon ko pa yung, yung dito sa dulo. Kasi parang I, I really found it waxy, di ba? Ito. So kailangan, ah, tiyan ka lang. Huwag kang aalis. Huwag kang pupunta anywhere. So kailangan ko siyang iset. I have this way din ng pag eyeshadow I always keep it closest to the lash line as possible. Kasi at the same time, this was my sort of eyeliner noon. In fairness, nagpe-perform pa rin tong eyeshadow na to. O, oh, ba? That's the Rise of Kontawi eyeshadow in 2008. May obsession na talaga ako noon sa brown liners, brown eyeshadow, brown everything. As early as high school, na meron kang ganung brands kasi meron akong like, pro luxury brands, meron akong very affordable brands. So I was able to learn kung, kung paano makita yung difference when it comes to performance, when it comes to formula, when it comes to longevity and stuff. Siyempre, hindi man ako expert at the time and I was learning about makeup. That was my early days. Pero yun yung parang naging makeup school ko. Early on, yun na yung mas nagiging observant na ako when it comes to, to those things, to those technicalities without even thinking na sobrang technical niya na. For old time's sake, this is the makeup style that I usually wear kapag like, lalabas ako. Hindi ko alam kung bakit bet na bet kong mag-eyeliner ng brown eyeshadow dito sa ilalim. I always had a brown thing dito sa ilalim. One brand that has been consistent with their products, I'd have to say, is Maybelline and their mascaras. Hyper Curl, during that time, falsies, this was the bomb. The reason why nagpalit lang ako is because of their wand. It's just jumbo for my eyes. Kasi laki lang talaga ng mata ko yung wand. And sa ikli ng lashes ko, hindi talaga siya mag-work. But grabe talaga yung formula. The hyper curl. I love that so much. Even when I was starting as a makeup artist, yun na yung mascara ko on my clients. There would be times in college na mag-host ako on stage. And so, kailangan medyo mag-level up yung look. So, I'd wear falsies. Definitely in high school, what are falsies? Yung story ng falsies na to, kasi uso yung Taiwan lashes, di ba? Pero nung nakita ko to sa landmark na ang ganda ng pagka-wisp, yung pagka-taper nung tip, sabi ko talaga, ay gusto ko nito. Ngayon, parang sobra siyang, sobra siyang, Tikit-tikit. So, ginagawa ko noon, talagang binabrush ko siya with a spoolie para magwatak-watak yung strands. And then, igu-glue na natin siya ngayon with the iconic Nichido Lash Glue. 60 pesos murang-mura. Pero ito yung lash glue na talagang nag-work. As in, ang tibay-tibay ng lash glue na to. Ang liit-liit lang. Tsaka ang hirap-hirap na gamitin. But it works. May time noon na may kliyente ako tapos nakalimutan ko yung lash glue na yan. Sabi ko talaga, kung di rin lang niche do lash glue gagamitin ko sa mga kliyente ko, wag na lang. Ngayon, nagpalit na ako because Nippon is actually really good. Um, this is still good, but it's just the container itself is what's keeping me from, from having it. See, I love it so much! As in, ang ganda kasi nung, ang ganda ng design niya and the way na talagang nakakurl siya. Tapos ang gagawin mo ngayon yan, set mo lang with a mascara para talagang makita mo yung, yung strands. Para kang naka-extension lang. Moving on to cheeks, I have here pretty iconic blushes during the day. I'm gonna start with Fashion 21. This is their cheek tint, but in roller form. Oh my god, sobrang iconic, nostalgic. This is high school to me. This has alcohol, para siyang may pagka-water based yung dating. 
it dries quickly it stays there but at the same time it is not for the lips you're very wrong pag ginamit mo siya sa lips ngayon hindi ko lang siya magagamit because may foundation ako and hindi siya kakapit sa balat but I just wanted to get this. Another one, of course, is Everbelena's Lip and Cheek Stain. Ito na yung packaging niya early on. I remember. Ang natatandaan ko dito yung amoy. Ito naman, may pagkamalapot, ba? And water-based din siya. Grab yung pagka-pink niya. Medyo pareho yung amoy, pero parang hindi na siya as fragrant compared before. I feel like. I don't think kakapit to kasi water-based, but you can try but masisira lang yung base ko. Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay. Nope. It just feels nice to hold them again. Kasi, grab. Ito talaga yung mga must-haves ko sa makeup stash ko when I was younger. Gagamit tayo ng powder blushes today. But I just wanna check this out. Kasi nung high school, again, bawal talaga to technically sa amin. So talagang parang sinasmuggle namin yung mga makeup products sa bag namin. Naglabas yung funds noon ng colored powders. May pink, may blue, and we had it. Wala na yun, unfortunately, but I found something super close. This is the Nichido Body Shimmer. And yun yung pinaka-blush namin noon. As in, sobrang tinatry namin mapalitaw para lang magkaroon ng pinky shade yung pisingi namin. Ito, meron shimmers, but I wanna see kung mag-work din siya. Sobrang baby pink nito. Ang gagawin namin, igaganyan namin siya. Wala, sobrang... Meron naman, kahit pa paano, pero sobrang... Kapiranggot lang. In fairness, nag-work sa glit. Ay, ayan o. Oh. Oh. Ganitong ganito talaga yung blush namin ng high school. Oh my gosh. Gagamit tayo ng powder blush and these are from Nichido. Ito yung powder blush talaga nila. This, I, I vividly, vividly remember having this in college and I was so happy. Ganito pa ito kaputla noon? Hindi ko alam. So, i-apply natin yung pink dito. Eh, patong ko na lang doon sa Nichido Body Shimmer. Hindi na ako masyadong magiging technical at you know, magiging critic dahil this is all for fun. But, but, just in case you were thinking of getting this blush, this is the kind of blush that has this very white, um, white undertone. Like, meron siyang pagkapute. Like, hindi, gets nyo ba yun? So, medyo mangingiba. May white cast siya. Meron siyang kaputian underneath its color. Ako talaga yung kahit anong mangyari, hindi ko mapigilang mag-review ng products. Ano? Ito naman yung uh, Cool Rum, I believe. May pagka-peach and warm, so I'm gonna apply this doon. Parang medyo as contour siya, somewhat. This is the highlighter that we're going to use. Medyo, mm -hmm, medyo kinakabahan ako. Technically, it's, it's an eyeshadow, no? And, oh my gosh, ito naman, siguro it goes way back. Mga elementary days. So, how it works, i-roll mo siyang ganyan, tas lalabas na yung product. Oh my Tingnan nyo naman yung kulay. Sobrang puti. No wonder kung bakit nauso ngayon yung 2000 makeup trend. And talagang puting-puti, frosty ang eyeshadow. Because ito talaga yung available noon. Try ko siyang ilagay. And kung mauwi tayo sa 2000s makeup, why not? Panindigan na lang natin. Namatay ang ating camera. But we are so back. For the lipstick, ito yung gamit ko mostly in college. This is Nichido's Lip Pencil in the shade Rosette. This shade specifically. I usually apply this shade all over my lips. Ito na yung pinaka lipstick ko noon. And nagtagal to sa akin ah. This is actually a good dupe for a MAC lip liner. Meron siyang familiar shade sa MAC. I, I'm not sure if it's boldly bare but this works beautifully because it's easy to glide on the lips. Maganda yung color play off. And maganda yung shade. Oh my gosh, this reminds me kung bakit ko siya nagustuhan. Hindi ko alam kung bakit natigil ko na siyang gamitin, but I'm glad I bought this. And the shade doesn't oxidize as much. So kung paano mo siya in-apply, ganun na ganun yung shade all throughout the day. Hindi na siya mag-iiba. This shade is amazing. That is sobrang nausi mga leave-on conditioner. I forgot specifically kung anong brand yung like kung ginagamit either the Joyce or Sunsilk. One of those. But I always had it in my bag. If not that, kasi medyo mabigat yun sa buhok, lagi naman akong may hair oil. And this is, Vitres talaga was the thing, was the hair oil back in the day. I had super straight hair. I always wanted it to appear shinier pa. Grabe yung amoy pa lang. Sobrang time travel na. Gusto ko kasi noon yung mabango, madulas. Eh di sobrang bagsak at saka straight rin ng buhok ko. To the point na yung kabarkada ko, sinabi niya, kunento niya na meron daw siyang rumor nung high school na narinig na sinasabing parang 
fake or implanted yung buhok ko. I guess the secret was vitreous. I'm also wearing gray contact lenses just because yung pinakaunang pagkakataon na kapag contact lens ako, pinili ko yung kulay na gray, hindi ko alam kung bakit. So, this completes the look. This look is memorable to me. Um, it's been... It's been so long. Parang pinatawag ko yung Justice League ko nung kabataan ko and sinalpak ko silang lahat sa mukha ko. If I may be completely honest, syempre, challenging gamitan yung ibang products. Um, Doon mo ma-realize na, ah, kaya pala hindi ko na siya ginagamit. Yung mga ganun. Or, ah, kaya pala ako nag-level up. But this whole thing that we did was very, very therapeutic. Parang, Oh my gosh, I needed this. Yung ganung moment. I did not expect na magiging emotional ako. But I think that's nostalgia for you. It's it's a mix of sadness, longingness, and happiness at the same time. I haven't been consistently uploading YouTube videos just because may times na overloaded ako with work, busy, I'm lost, I'm confused, ano ba yung next content na gagawin ko? Minsan tamad din, minsan inspired, but I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, there, there are really times na you're just lost and you don't know how to move forward. So to move forward, to get there, you just really have to look back and, and ask yourself, why am I doing this? What do I love doing? What am I passionate about? And here I am. Here I am in front of you, catching up. So thank you guys so much for joining. Um, lahat ng products, ilalagay ko in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.